Welcome back. Every five years, the U.S. government updates its dietary guidelines, incorporating the latest information about food. Here with what you need to know about these latest changes is Karen Gilbert, dietitian, nutritionist, and president of Decisions Nutrition. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I heard, and I've seen a lot of information about this, the USDA is, is having a lot of issues with these new guidelines. There are agencies that have sued them. There's a lot of confusion. What's going on with this? Well, what's happening is, is that the USDA is in a difficult spot because it is responsible for two things. The, educa the nutritional education of Americans, which is important because America is fatter and sicker than ever. No. Many, really? many Americans oh are, goodness, unfortunately, <laughs> and, and there are statistics that support that. Right. And then they are, have to sub they subsidize certain programs, mm -hmm. and they're responsible for the expansion of certain agricultural markets. So they have to promote certain products that they subsidize, and that's a conflict because a lot of those products are the products, the very same products that we should not be eating. Well, that's what I don't understand is how the USDA can ha be in such a position and there's so much conflict that they can actually put out new guidelines, but we'll try to clarify <laughs> that right now. Yes, and the they are confusing the guidelines. Right, right. So yes. let's try to demystify some of that. Number one, salt. What's yes. the deal with salt? Well, excessive salt intake has been linked to heart disease and stroke, so this is an important one. However, it's confusing because many people, currently, Americans take in around 3,400 milligrams of sodium. The guidelines say no more than 2,300 milligrams and an even further reduction mm -hmm. if you have heart disease or chronic right. heart disease or if you're African American, high blood pressure, high blood all, pressure, pressure all that. Right. Now, what, what's confusing is that many people think, oh, okay, so I won't take the salt shaker. Mm -hmm. However, that's not the only place that sodium is, is in. That it's also in processed foods, fast foods. We have examples over here mm -hmm. of frozen foods is a big culprit because that box right there has over 1,700 milligrams of sodium. Mm. And the canned foods, some of the canned vegetables, which people think are healthy, I'm eating my vegetables, there's sodium in that, and it quickly adds up to 2,300 milligrams, right. certainly. And sodium is a preservative. So anytime something is in a can or a package, anytime. there's going to be salt in there because it's a preservative. Absolutely. And people need to understand And I do it. tell people, get frozen vegetables if you right. want it to be quick because there isn't sodium in that. That's, that's fresh. Great so that's point. a great, great, great point. thing. Great uh, point. What about, uh, the other word I'm hearing a lot of is solid fat. Yes. W what do we mean by well, that? So that's another term. That's, it's a, that's a food component. And it's confusing to Americans because what is that? So solid fats are fats that are solid at room temperature. So people automatically think of lard or butter, which is, which is mm -hmm. solid fat. However, solid fats are found in cheeses, full fat dairy products, sausages, bacon, meats, big culprit. You know, the USDA doesn't say that so clearly. And, and the other thing that we're hearing a lot of is to do, have to do with refined grains, define refined grains. Well, refined grains, yes, and that's another general term the USD uses. They say, beware of desserts with refined grains. So a lot of Americans don't even process that. They don't understand what that means. Right. And really what that means is stay away from cookies, cakes. Unfortunately, those types of foods have solid fats, added sugars, and sodium. So why don't they say, stay away from candy cookies, ice cream, white bread, <laughs> white flour, pasta, and, and don't do that stuff? Exactly. I mean, wouldn't that be easier? Well, that's a lot of the criticism that they're faced with because they, they mention components, they use euphemisms, and they don't state okay. the specific foods when it comes to what not to eat. Now, avocados, yes. phenomenal food, uh, yes. fruit. Yes, well, let's the, talk about the, this good stuff. Yes, real well, quick. the guidelines do say try to replace some of the saturated fats mm -hmm. with some of the polyunsaturated fats and the monounsaturated fats, right. which are avocados, it's in olive oil, it's mm -hmm. in almonds. Right. Um, but again, they, they say replace it with monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. They don't really explain to you what that is. You know what, folks? We're going to make this really <laughs> simple, okay? Yes. Here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put the paper right here. <laughs> we're going to divide it. Don't eat this. Yes. Eat this. Make it now, simple and clear. 99% yes. of people know this, that they're supposed to eat their fruits, their vegetables, their grains, yes. their fish. Real quickly, talk to us about okay, this. Okay, well, they do, there is a section in the policy that says eat more of certain foods. And that's cl more clear because that's easier to right. state than the, the bad stuff. So they say be sure to increase your vegetables and beware of color. 
that's why I have a plate here mm -hmm. with red, orange, yellow, green. These are all wonderful, beautiful mm -hmm. foods for you. Right. Um, and they, they actually state to make half your plate fruits and, and vegetables. Then fish, 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 of course. Well, then it's interesting because the guidelines state increase, to expand your protein mm -hmm. foods like fish. We're running and, out of time. And, okay, okay, fish mm -hmm. and, and shrimp and all that. So they're basically saying, Stay away from the meats, but they're not stating it clearly. They're just saying expand your horizons. Yes. We're right here. That's what you need to eat, folks. Yes. It's and very low simple. Fat dairy and low-fat dairy important. Fat dairy. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you for Thank joining you. Thank you for us. having me. Pleasure. If you have any questions about anything you've seen on today's show, email them to us at 12 to Health at news12.com. Thanks for watching 12 to Your Health. Until next time, I'm Dr. Derek DeSova, and may you always be blessed with good health.